I don't like what I'm seeing. I've you created, created me. I've created a Beverly Hills brat. We think it's been a lot of exposed kids like Lil Tay. So we think it could be another one. So we're gonna find out today. Hello everybody, we are Philip Vega and Kirill Vega, And yes, we are identical fans. And welcome to another video on our channel. Today we are gonna talk about another internet sensation that called Nicolette Gray. We don't know if you guys heard about this. A little crazy, weird, odd, a little kid. She's 15 years old. Well, she's 16 now, but she, w she went viral on the internet and everybody like talking about her right now because she's like, I think she reminds us of like a little say that just like got finished with her career on the internet and this Vicky Vo, right? You bought my brand new whip and I paid this shit in cash. <laughs> this where these dumb ass videos get you. There's been recently Few kids, few wealthy, pretending to be wealthy, like little take kids that blew up on social media. So today we want to talk about that. PewDiePie did a video about uh, Nicola Gray, 15 years old kid. She wants a car for $250,000, $231,000. On May 1st, her mom and, and, and Nicola went on the uh, TV show called Dr. Phil and they asked for help because Nicole Gray, 15 years old kid, she was born and raised in extremely wealthy family. She was always getting I, what she wanted. I have raised a Beverly Hills brat. Her allowance is crazy. Giving this child thousand dollars a month is insane. A thousand dollars? I'm barely living. Her attitude. How does she treat people? Like peasants. He's entitled. By the time I was your We're age. We're talking I... about me here. This is my show. I think she just had single parent, which is her mom. On the show, her mom said that she was like out there working six days a week and she couldn't afford being with her daughter. She would oh, so she would always buy like her only expensive things and like she would cover uh, like all the yeah, all yes. the things and everything she wanted. She would do a private she came school. on a TV show like concerned about her daughter like spending for the last year one hundred thousand dollars expenses of 15 years old kid yes. this is so crazy and she she wanted to ask for help of dr phil and to cut her allowances uh, down to a thousand dollars a month so why we wanted to do this video because like this is really interesting and unusual story and we did a research we we know everything about and we want to tell you guys like about this Nicole yeah, we think, and we want to know your opinion at the end we think there is so much uh, there is some other stuff going on behind this mom and Nicola Gray we think not everything behind this story is real there is something going on like with Lil Tay and with Vicky Vo so everything starts with her mom she's explaining on a TV show like uh, the most expenses that she actually like paid and spent on her daughter so there is like these items like she catered 13th birthday party like I, we just guessed was a huge amount of money designer clothes, handbags, shoes, everything worth of like at least two three thousand dollars five star vacations uh, throughout the year, multiple credit cards gym membership uh, with inexpensive like gyms with personal traders over a hundred dollars an hour like, we're getting this money for a day like Sometimes we get it even so less yes. than $100 a day. Also, what Nina's else? Spend. Nina's spending habits are like high-end saloons, unlimited, uh, like, ride chain, it's organic delivery foods, previous, like, her previous allowance during the month was like 5000 a month, then mom cut it off to like two point uh, twenty five hundred, and then like, uh, on the show she wanted like, to break it down to like $1,000 per month, and like, uh, Nicola Gray is so not satisfied with that, she's, she's saying that at least to survive, to have a normal life, she has to, she has to do at least twenty five hundred. I need her to understand that I need at least twenty five hundred dollars a month. She's not. She works all the time. She doesn't do anything for me. She doesn't drive me anywhere. And so, other people would have their moms, like drive them places, buy them food, make them food. But I have to do everything myself, and I need the funds for that. She blames her mom for everything she's done. Why do you think she's that way? I think I made her that way. You did. Blame. You raised me. Should have done better. Actually, it's kind of true because like we raise our kids and like the way you raise them, if you allow them everything, they're gonna keep on learning and they're gonna like keep on asking for it and it's only gonna grow her expenses and stuff. So, and her like, uh, the thing that she has like all our kids. So, and then they come to a conclusion. Phil offers a Nicola Gray to, to, to do a job. Absolutely, no. she needs a job. Oh 
Oh. And I think it would be great if you volunteered some more at the soup kitchen. You can do some great volunteer work down there. <laughs> I did that. No. I started with a babysitter. I think my first job was at iHub. Oh, That's when we realized that it could be a fake because like everything seems to be normal. Conversation goes really normal. And then when Nicola Gray said that she doesn't want to have a job, she doesn't want to struggle, she starts crying and it's, it looks so fake. When we just saw the show, we actually believed her mom that she's really obsessed about her daughter. But then when we realized that the, like the crying is fake, that's what actually what PewDiePie says in his video. She seems like a neck, more of a nectar. Also on a TV show, she's saying to Dr. Phil that she's like, She's so obsessed with a G-Wagon and she, there is no other point but she's getting a G-Wagon from her mom because she just needed. it. You want a G-Wagon for oh, your yeah. 16th I, birthday? I need my G-Wagon. There's no question. I need it. There's no question? Yeah. You need that? Yeah. My mom's buying a Bentley for herself. Why can't I get a G-Wagon? Dr. Phil asking, why do you need a G-Wagon? What is the special thing about it? She was like, I was dreaming about it and I was asking it for over two years. Why do you need a G-Wagon? I just, I really want the G-Wagon. I, well, I understand you want it, but why do you, you said, I need the G-Wagon. Why I do you need I really like the way it looks. I've wanted one for over two years now. I, every time I see them, you see so many of them near my house and I just, every time I see one, I'm in awe. I love them. They're just, the interior is so nice and there's no blind spots at all. Like it's so big and open. There's so much trunk space. It's amazing. And they look yeah. so nice inside. This is like what makes me laugh. I want 100,000 subscribers on our channel. Man, Can we guys please do this? Man, if we wanted to have our like, at least our small condo, our, our small little like space forever that we can own. We still cannot get it. We're asking for it like at least since we're Man, 16. Everybody wants something. We cannot afford it. Our so, parents don't too. But so, like she was asking for over two years. G-Wagon, $231,000. Are you kidding me? Then we went to her like YouTube channel and other social media. So, but we'll start with your, her YouTube. She has seven, seven videos, videos and her YouTube channel has 147,000 subscribers probably from the shout out of like PewDiePie and like her friends, tubers. So yeah. she got actually a couple of videos and like, of course they all seems to be nothing like she was on a TV show and especially her mom. Of course she got a wagon for her 16th birthday. For this video, I just wanted to show you guys my 16th birthday present. I got a Mercedes G550. Why would her mom, why would she give her a, a G wagon when she wanted to cut off her expenses down to a thousand dollars. Another funny thing, she's, she was talking about the allowances of one thousand dollars a month for her daughter and she actually did it for a couple of months we guess but like why would you buy her daughter a G-Wagon worth of $231,000 in the next couple of like weeks. This is so crazy. This is just like yeah. five, six years of these allowances. It doesn't all, make sense. This also seems to be a fake because mom who would truly need to change the something in her daughter, why would she follow her and do what she wants when Dr. Phil suggested give her more love and less money and she does extremely opposite. Like she keeps giving her expensive presents like G-Wagon for 231,000, it just doesn't make any sense. And then she, of course, she's making a video about this, uh, her new car, she's just like going all around, showing leather, all this expensive stuff inside her bags. We actually love the way PewDiePie said, he like about these flexing kids and like rich kids, they all has to be sent on an island when there's like only kids and like only the strong ones can make it out of this <laughs> island. Yeah. So this is the second thing that would made us think that she's fake when she actually got her G-Wagon. And of course there's other videos when she's going shopping with her friends, buying just like single items for over like one, two thousand dollars, a single item. And she's just going out, buying dinners for like really huge expenses. She paying her for her friends, buying presents, only expensive presents. This is just pretty much everything like what she do. Funny thing that we, we found we went to her Instagram page, which has like 135,000 subscribers. She has so many bags that she brought. And then like, she called her friends. Like she keeps saying on the show, in like description that she doesn't have any friends, but she called her purses and her bags a friend. She feed them in the stories and the posts, which is so hilarious. All these descriptions, get money, not get friends and stuff like that. And of course she posted a picture with her G-Wagon and the mom. And, and they all seem pretty happy, but we just don't understand why why her mom was concerning about her daughter on the TV so, show. This is actually the third fact that we think that it's a setup because look, the description for like the post she's getting at G-Wagon for 16th birthday, look what it says, 
Thank you so much, mom, for a belated uh, birthday present. I'm so grateful to have my dream car at 16. I may not show it much, but I'm so grateful for you and everything you do. At the TV show, she said, As a child, I was never loved. She, was, she just gave me money. So wouldn't you rather have more love and less money? I want both. Yeah. Oh, I understand. <laughs> No, I, I, get, I get that. I don't want to love no more. I just want money. Like, and then she, I, like, when she posted a photo with her mom, she's so grateful to her. What, what the heck? It's been just two weeks after the show and she's pretty grateful. Oh, all, all her descriptions on social media kind of like, she got a photo when she's showing a middle finger and she's smiling from her G-Wagon. She's like commenting, waiting to get my allowances back with Nina Gray. And she, after getting this G-Wagon worth of almost 300,000, and she's going to her mom's page. And one of the very first posts, when she's going in a, her Rolls Royce and she's saying, driving my problems away in my Rolls, should I give Nicole her allowances back after presenting so her? They just keep back. playing on both of her Instagram and social medias, like, Mom saying, should I give my daughter allowances back? It's so like a pretty much like a business stuff. They just keep promoting themselves. I'm pretty sure they just like got a huge shout out from like on a, on a TV, from YouTubers, but they, I'm pretty sure they are really good relations and every single way, like in general, this is so fake. Her mom went on a TV show to concern about her daughter and then she's directing her on Instagram to her daughter saying like, should I give, I mean, just like saying all these words pretty opposite. Everything is so opposite on a social media. And this is just doesn't make sense. They just like keep promoting themselves like on Instagram. Mom is saying like, uh, have you seen the recent video of my daughter? Like she's wearing a Walmart clothes for 24 hours well, and stuff like that. and stuff. Yeah. We also read the comments by her videos on YouTube, on Instagram. People actually hate a lot because it all doesn't seem real and we're not the only ones who understand that. We actually find one comment which is says like people who has money, they don't really say about they it. They never show off. They never show up, but yeah. Like, descriptions be like luxury, I'm iconic, loving my Walmart culture. Like, I, no, 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 they should not, not love Yeah, people Walmart. say that, like, so, like, we don't want not of your saying, content, just like, don't keep us updated at all, just yeah. close your so pages. She has an like, extremely high altitude, at least this is her like personality on social media. So, in, in this case, Actually, people hate her. We read so much comments and like yeah. any video that like not, not even on her channel on all the and channels. There is more dislikes than likes. So, yeah, we we this is not like a hateness video. We just want you guys to uh, maybe like uh, try to get our point of view because like something weird is going on right yeah, now. Yeah, and we just Definitely. wanted to look at the situation from like all the angles because like we've seen some videos and we, we didn't know some stuff that we also had to find on our own. We wanted to tell it to you guys so you're gonna be aware of what's going on in like social media. We want you to comment on this video down below what you guys think about it. We're gonna be staying updated with her life just to, to know like the end of it all but we think it's gonna be just another story same as Lil Tay. Yeah, well, it's gonna be exposed, but, but oh, yeah. Let us guys know if you would like us to do any other review about her or somebody else. And please, guys, give this channel support, subscribe, and make sure to turn on this little bell so you're gonna be updated when the new video is coming out. Yeah, we almost turned 10,000 subscribers. And so we really appreciate her help, guys. One more time, please comment below right now. Do you think is it fake? What we were trying to, what we were trying to figure and out. And these guys just actors, or, or this is a real situation, and they having this issue of like growing a, a spoiled kid. Beverly Hills brought spoke it. But but our opinion, I know it's just another fake story and these guys just an actors. Thank you so much for being with us and we'll see you in another video. Peace!